Hello guys and welcome back to another video. I'm currently crouching down in some trees just on the outskirts of that little river you saw me catching trout in a few videos ago. Now this is the second part to that video. I was going to upload it as one long one and include all my sessions but I had to split it up because the last session, which is today's, actually went quite well. Or at least it has done so far. So what I'm doing is there's currently some trout downstream from where I am now. I don't want to spook them. So let's crack on with the fishing. Today I'm just focusing on using spinners and spoons and uh, fingers crossed we can get a better hook rate than we did last time and uh, get a few more fish on the bank for you guys. Let's crack on. Got one. We got one. Oh, that's a good size brown. Real nice one for this tiny little stream. On the inline spinner. Oh, let's try and get it. Yes, biggest one I've caught from here so far. Let's get a better look at him downstream. Just caught an absolutely beautiful brown trout. I've set him resting in the net while I've set the um, camera up, so he's going to be quite lively. There we are, a beautiful fish, over a pound, beautiful colours, probably the biggest one I've caught so far out of this little, little tiny stream, on the inline spinner as well, hopefully it'll do me justice today, let's get him back. This was an accident, when well, my net was in the water after I caught the trout, a little bullet swam into it, let's get him back. Got it. Oh, what a hit. Absolutely slammed it. Another decent one for this little, little tiny stream. God, he's going crazy. Can't be put up a good scrap for this trout, though. There we go. On the inline spinner. Beautiful fish. Just saw him swirling in front of me. I thought I'd spooked him. But maybe he was catching a fly or something. Really, really nice looked in the corner. I might not need to get the pliers on it. I'm actually going to let this fish recover in the net for a little bit. We're not going to show him to the big camera because it took me a little while to unhook him. Um, because of the way he's clamped down so hard on the hook and every single point of the treble was actually caught in the side of the fish's mouth. So it was a right bugger to try and wiggle out of its jaw clamp shut. So we'll let him rest there just for a minute and then we'll let him go. Like I say, we'll not turn the big camera on, we'll not fanny around, we'll just get this one straight back into the flow. He seems pretty strong as he is, though. Beautiful, beautiful fish. So I want him to go back fighting, but yeah, he's... Yeah, whoa, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's good. So, so far today, I'm actually very pleased with the spinner. Should I say so far this session? I mean, it does bend out quite easily, like... Um, but this is a size zero zero spinner, which is the smallest one I've used on here so far. And uh, in my previous lot of ventures here, I've hardly had any luck on the inline spinner and everything on the jig. And maybe it's just the conditions or something, but um, I've had two takes so far. Definitely not as much attention as what I had uh, last time I came out using jig flies. Um, because jig flies just seem to be king. But these are really good for hookups. I mean, I've had three fish hit the bait now. Two fish landed, one fish came off. The one that came off was a small one, so. So good. So far, so good. There's a deep hole just here, I remember from the last times, and there's always been a fish in it. Not that I've... Oh, that was a big one. 
I'm not just talking about his deep ball. That would have been the biggest trout I've caught so far. Over these last few sessions coming out, that was a two pounder. Damn it, it is so hard. How he didn't stay on this treble hook. I have no idea. I was just gonna say, every time I've been here, I found fish in this deep hole, but I've never actually managed to catch any. And, uh, oh, there we go. So this is interesting. When I first came here, I, I spoke to one of the local guys that were dog walking, and he told me that he believed that the whole whole of the stretcher was just free to fish. No one really owned it. There's free rights. So I fished it like that last couple of times, and now a bloke's just come out from one of the houses and said that his club owns a small section basically from where I got in to about here which is only about 60 yards or 70 yards it's probably the best bit of fishing now with that little little stretch but they've got no signs up or anything this is a message to clubs out there if you've if you've got a stretch of river or canal put bloody signs up there's not one not one sign he had to come out and tell me that I can't fish it but he wouldn't have had to if there's a sign up to say there we go there we go never mind I got a trout that's not complaining. What a take. my neck. Oh no, I've broke my net on a branch somewhere. I've lost my net. Where's my net gone? It was attached to my bag. When I've been moving swims, I must've got it caught up. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful fish. So, so pretty, look at that. Nicely hooked as well. I won't even need to get my pliers on that. Just barely hooked in there corner of the mouth there we go and a beautiful beautiful brown trout really are a stunning species of fish and slipping back oh <laughs> i thought i'd lost my net my net was just on the other side of my body <laughs> it had been on my left hand side the whole time and i was on my right hand side that's me being a big retard <laughs> it's funny I thought it snapped off. It's not the first time I've snapped the clip off one of my nets and lost him. Yes! <laughs> I'll see one in a little while. Oh, it was on a little spoon and he come off. Never mind. Would have been the smallest one I've caught, actually. Saw him dart him down, he chasing it in. He was waking on it. He absolutely crushed it. Only a little guy. Trout chasing it then, little tiny one. Go on. Oh, yes, absolutely slammed it. Scrappy, aren't they? Another beautiful, beautiful fish. That time, got a little spoon. See it there, a little 2.2 centimeter spoon. I'll just tangled up a minute, so we'll get him hooked first. Shouldn't need the pliers on that. Nope. Oh, well, that was a quick release, wasn't it? <laughs> I was going to drop him in the net and then untangle it. Beautiful little fish. Absolutely crushed his spoon. Just casting upstream. The wiry little bars are so palmy. Struggle to keep an hold of them. Oh, 
there's another trout. Damn it, it was quite small. He sort of bumped into it a couple of times, but didn't take it properly. Got one! Yes! Oh, he's all over. Whoa. These trout are absolutely crazy, aren't they? Another nice fish with a little tiny creek. <laughs> We've just caught up in the net. Let's just get that sort out. It's just hooked. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at that. Amazing colours. Really enjoyable session this is. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little trout exploration mission once again. Um, I had a lot better hookup rate today using spinners and spoons. I'm thinking about coming out in the future using free line worm because you can do that legally for trout and see if I can get even more out. So if you liked it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment if you want to. Catch you guys later.